Dr. Susan Smith-Jones, PhD, has assisted thousands of people in becoming more aware of how their food and lifestyle choices affect their physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual well-being. For 30 years, Susan taught students, staff, and faculty at UCLA how to be healthy and fit. She's an author and motivational speaker and has assisted many people with their food and lifestyle choices. Here she is this hour on Coast to Coast. Happy Thanksgiving, Susan. Well, George, I can't think of anywhere else I'd rather be than with you. Thank you for having me on your show. My pleasure. Let's go all the way back to the beginning. How did this all start for you? How did you get into health? My grandmother, George, her name was Fritzi. She took Fritzi. me. Fritzi. Fritzi. She was from Denmark. She taught me everything she knew about health practices and natural home re- home remedies, and they all worked beautifully. And they were simple and inexpensive. So that well-known adage that when a student is ready, the the teacher will appear, it was definitely true for me because I was ready and she changed my life for the better. And she taught me about things like the healing power of beautiful, colorful foods and the importance of spending time in nature. And she loved the Essene philosophy. She taught me about that and deep breathing and visualization and prayer and meditation. And basically, she taught me how to take care of my body from head to toe. Things like nasal cleansing and dry skin brushing and slanting, even fasting. But she told me that if I take really good care of myself, then my body would take care of me. So my grandmother, bottom line here is my grandmother went from being someone who really used to be so strange and weird to me with her health and that approach to life, to being my greatest mentor and the person who changed my life for the better. And everything she taught me in those years before she passed away are some of the greatest blessings and lessons in my life that I still teach to this day. So from her loving guidance, I chose my career and my passion for alternative health um, and holistic health was born. You know, you were able to do this on your own, and that's that's remarkable, and you try to teach other people the ability to do it. And when you do do it, Susan, you do feel better. You feel more energized. And when your body's energized, you do different things. I mean, you have a power about you when you're energized that you can, even in a dream state, no matter what you do, you can do positive things, can't you? Oh, absolutely. When you... When you are vibrantly healthy in body, mind, and spirit, and I think the body reflects the mind and the mind reflects the spirit, so the physical body is a great place to start. But when you feel vibrantly healthy and you, you, you get enough sleep and drink enough water and have the positive attitude, keep your stress level down, eat the good foods, all the things we'll talk about, then you are in touch with that empowered presence inside you. And, and everything affects everything else. For example, when you go out and let's say you go hiking or, or walking, that's going to give you a more positive attitude. And when you eat good foods, then you have a better positive attitude. And yet, moreover, you could eat the best foods all day and you could exercise for hours. But if your thoughts are continually negative, if you're always harboring thoughts of doubt and worry and envy and hopelessness, helplessness, there's no way you're going to be vibrantly healthy. My grandmother taught me that our bodies were created to be self-healing, self-rejuvenating, and self-renewing, but we've got to take care of our own bodies and treat them with tender, loving care and support our body's own inherent natural healing systems rather than working against them. And what I say to people all the time is your level of health right this moment is a result of the countless choices you have made regarding food you eat, thoughts you think, what you believe, what you expect, the exercise you get, simply how you're choosing to live your life. And where this choice making begins, I believe, is with appreciating and respecting and loving your magnificent body. Because one of the most important things we can all learn in life is a sense of appreciation for ourselves Because when we open our hearts to our own self-worth and then that divine essence of all humanity, we access the most powerful healer of all and the healing power of love.